my dear friends and teachers who is present over here in this delighted morning. Uh, now we'd like to give us a presentation about the second law of motion, which is momentum. So I'd like to call Rona to explain what is momentum. The rate of change of momentum of an object, of an object is directly proportional to the applied unbalanced force and direction of force. Momentum is created by a uh, symbol for the term, like P. The, the formula of momentum is P is equal to MD. So, the second force is the relation, gives the relationship between the force and acceleration. Second of force is proportional to the force acting on it. Is and inversely proportional to the body of mass. For example, for example, this car, it's a, it has a mass of uh, 5 kg, 5 gram, and the velocity of the is uh, 10 meter per, per second. So the momentum of this object will be 2 into 2 kg into 5, this will be 10 kg meter per second. Another example we have, a gun, which has a bullet oh, yeah. uh, 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 mass of 5 kg. This is loaded. Uh, 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 so the weight of the bullet will be uh, like 2 into 5, 10, meter, 10 kg meter per second. And now I would like to call Nilak to give the key points of the moment. Now I am going to give you the examples. Like when there are like a drug, there is a drug and a car. The drug's mass is like 8,000 kg and the car's mass is like 2,000 kg. And their velocity is like same only 20 meter per second and the, for, for a drug 20 meter per second and for a car is 20 meter per second. Their, uh, their velocity is same, but the mass is uh, different. Like the drug has more mass and the car. And uh, the momentum will be more for the drug because of the mass. And when it is going to hit somebody, the like injury is going to uh, get by the drug only. And like if we find a momentum, 8,000 kg into 20, 20 meter per second, this is going to be 14, uh, 14 uh, one, one, uh, 140 uh, 100 meters second, so kg meter per second, and the car's momentum will be 2000 kg into 20, is going to be 40,000 meter per kg meter per second. The momentum is more for the truck. And in another example, there is two cars with the same mass only, but the velocity is uh, different. In the velocity, uh, the first, in the first case, the velocity is 40 meter per second, and the, in the second case, the velocity is 30 meter per second. We have to find the final momentum of the so we will get, just get the momentum of these two cars. When we get the momentum, uh, then we are going to like this is the initial momentum and this is going to be the final momentum. Then when we are going to minus the momentum, then we are going to get the final momentum of the car. Now I let go but for a few points. So now I'd like to explain about the key points. The more massive an object will be, the more momentum will it have. So, for example, uh, let's take this chair. Let's take this, take this chair and this bed. And uh, I throw it with the same velocity. Uh, and the momentum of this chair will be more because it has more mass. The faster an object moves, the more momentum it has. So, for example, this end. So, I throw this wheel, wheel with this much, and I throw this car with a more velocity than the pin. So, the so the car will have more more momentum because the velocity is more. Direction. The momentum is the momentum. <laughs> what is mass? Uh, 
Where is it then? Mass is not wet. What is mass? Who can say the meaning of mass? Yes. Mass is something which is weight in a device. Mass. Hey. No bullet. <laughs> the amount of content a particular object carries. Oof. Hey. Very good. Mass means the amount of substance present in Number of atom present in For example, uh, let me take two pieces of the paper. Okay. I will take another paper. Simple example. If I ask you which which piece of paper has more mass? A, B, B. Why? How can you say that? Next chapter you will get this. Because it has more number of atoms, more number of molecules, more number of particles. Due to the presence of more number of particles, atom, molecule, it has more mass. So actually mass means the amount of particle present in it. Okay? And where is the force? Where is the force actually? Okay? Mass never change. If you take the object, if I take what is the to space also, what is the mass in Harmoti in India? Some. She will have the same mass in moon also. But where to different? Your weight is different in space. Zero. Your weight will be zero. You got it? Any more questions on the public side? Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. What's the factor? <coughs> Factor always is a moment to develop, right? The, the, the factor of the moment, uh, second law of motion depends upon the, the mass, but the mass of twice and the velocity is less. Good. Like why the momentum is very hard to stop with me? Very difficult to stop. The momentum is hard to stop because it's there are two types of things like the velocity and the mass. If the mass is more light and the velocity is fast, we have to catch the things first. Like stop it, it will dig us too fastly and it's like it is more weight now. Because it is more weight more force, right? Like, more force, more force, more force, more force, more force, right? Very good. Wow, special business. Who derived momentum before Newton? Like, before Isaac Newton? Hey, hey, hey. Who derived momentum before Isaac Newton? Isaac Newton, who derived? <laughs> Anybody know the answer? Anyone? Who is that? It's French. It's a it's a French scientist, philosopher, Descartes. Descartes. Philosopher Descartes. Descartes. <laughs> Any more questions? I've got one more question. Oh, Why is momentum called only P, not any other letters? Oh. Uh, <laughs> point, high point. Hey. <laughs> It's not actually P, but... Yeah, but you have written that P. <laughs> <laughs> so, right.
why like, like this? I'm asking like why is momentum called only P, not any other letter? Like U, D, A, N. <laughs> if you are telling that it's like that, then you should. Anyone else here? We usually use the initial word for, for like, uh, let's say uh, the initial word of force is F. So to denote it, we uh, you, we use the word F, like the alphabet F. And for momentum, if we use M, then it will be the same as mass because for mass to denote mass, we use M. So. Uh, for to not get confused for the students, we use P. So why do P, not any other letter like A, or B, and C, D? Last question. P is something else. Just to make it easier to write, we made it P. Okay, let us listen to Lina. Lina, please. Very good. The answer. Question or yes, yes, this question. Sir, actually, when I wrote, it was the letter being derived from the Latin word Peter, which means to go and seek. Oh, nice. Hey, hey. Good point. I've got one more question. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Huh? One second. One second. One second. Can be hidden to human eyes. Like yes, you, if you can see or or can, can't see. Like. Yes, like that. Can moment be hidden to human eyes? Like how kinetic energy can be hidden as heat? The faster, the faster an object will be, the harder it will be, the harder it will be for the human eyes to see. Yeah, but how kinetic energy can be hidden as heat? How kinetic energy can be hidden as heat? Hey, next question. Hey, next. <laughs> what is the effect of mass and velocity on momentum? <laughs> I, I explain it. Uh, I already explained it in the key points. Hey, 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 uh, the more massive uh, the more massive an object will be, the more momentum it, it will have, uh, the, and the more velocity it will have, and the more momentum it will have. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Well done. Very good. Okay. Another gun. Next time. Thank you. Thank you. Next, next.